This here competition better be good. <laughs> Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any content I produce. Big shout out to all the Patreon supporters who pitch in to help me produce this content. Also, big shout out to all of you Street Smart Swing community members who are taking advantage of my entire Swing Dance catalog, along with getting my personal feedback on their dancing. So, if you want to also master Lindy Hop quickly and stay inspired with new ways to move, check out the link in the description. Today, I'm going to be scrutinizing a solo jazz competition at ILHC Europe. I honestly want to see something paradoxical. I want to see the perfect balance of order and chaos. Is it too hard to have both? This for me is the ultimate essence of jazz dancing and I can't wait to see which dancer demonstrates this within the template of vintage styling. Everybody these days can just dance but not everyone can make it look like the time period. My hope is that there will be at least one or two dancers who can do what I'm talking about so let's get right into this.
<laughs> yes. This was almost a close one, but the faster tempo helped me determine who I thought was the real winner. I first gotta say that I am so impressed by these Spanish dancers. I really love to see how much they represented in this competition. I would honestly say that that community along with the Korean community are just two of my favorite places to dance on this planet. And I, and I hope honestly to see more from these dancers and I hope they keep up the momentum. Now my second favorite dancer who was almost my first but in a way is my first in terms of the style I preferred was Tan. The first thing that came to my attention was her, her ability just to stand out. She did not come across as someone trying to one up the person that came out before her. She just came out making an authentic statement that felt original. I was really transfixed by her playful footwork and personality. I feel honestly like her slower set amplified her unique skills more than her faster performance. All around, she was a fantastic dancer to watch and I can't wait to see more from her. Now my first place has to go to Tamara. She captured this authentic, wildly organized vortex that I hope to see. Unlike many of the other dancers who could dance well, I feel she had the discipline part that the others lacked when it came to the posture on how to control your body in order to look vintage. I talk about this a lot as a dancer coming from a, a hip hop background. One of the main things that separate modern uh, from vintage street dancing is the ability to keep the shoulders more parallel with the floor with minimal movement. Back in the day, most vernacular jazz forms were influenced by tap dancing, which focused more on the lower portion of the body, while the upper limbs served as a complement to what was you know, happening with the legs, not as a distraction. I feel Tamara nails this dichotomy perfectly, and she was the best dancer in this competition by far. And if you dare have a differing opinion, you should be canceled, blacklisted, and forever banned from the internet. No, seriously, what did you guys think about this competition? Who was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. Below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my community online. Take care.